all right, mate? Very good, very good. Welcome back to Cardiff. Thank you very much, thank you. And we were at the centre last night, and boy, was that a good show. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean, how do you keep up the pace? I mean, we're talking about summer holiday, which is down at the Millennium Centre now until the 18th of August. How yeah. do you keep up the pace? I mean, it's not just like, get up on stage, say a few lines, sing. You're full on dancing. What a show. Oh, I know. I know, yeah. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, I love it, though. You know, it keeps you fit, keeps you going. And uh, the audience is fantastic last night. So, yeah, it really happens to be a card. Incredible audience, actually. Uh, just in front of us, people of all ages, and I mean seriously, all generations, up singing, up yeah. dancing, just having a great time. I mean, the feel-good factor in summer holiday, it's, it's tremendous. Yeah. Oh, it is. Uh, I know, it's one of those shows that, you know, presents good old-fashioned traditional musical theatre, really. Uh, you know, put on dance and song and, and happiness together in one little space for everybody to enjoy. Uh, you know, it's a, it is a real feel good show, and then uh, that was what we set out to do, and that's what we achieved. So, everyone in the show, and the cast, and including the directors, and obviously the creators, are all really pleased and proud of what we've what we've brought together. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit different from the uh, you know the original one with Darren Day, which was you know obviously ten to twelve years ago now. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you know, it, it it plays good homage to the you know the original film. Um, and, and of course, you know, it's, it's a new, young generation of people performing those songs that uh, should live on forever, I guess, you know. And the legendary Cliff, isn't it, you know? That's very true, yeah. I mean, the, there is that generation which, of course, remembers the, the film, which was huge back in the day. But I think the show itself is so vibrant and lively. I think it just opens up to a brand new audience as well. Yeah, it does. It opens it up to, you know, a different generation, like you say. You know, the generation that was there last night were you know, were of all ages, you know. Uh, you know, I get people coming up and saying, oh, this is me now, this is me mom, and this is me daughter. Uh, and, and we're all here because, you know, one, I love I loved Cliff, and she likes you, and <laughs> <laughs> we not like the show, you know, like the film. So, uh, no, it's, it's exciting, it's great, you know, and it's nice to, as I say, open up a new generation of, of, of you know, Cliff Richard songs and uh, the 60s where it was, you know, innocent life, you know, the, 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 the life people led back then was so different and, you know, innocent and uh, humble and just full of adventure and I think that's what we've achieved. I was, I was very envious of it actually, I was like, I was saying to my friend, I was like, how cool would it be to do this? Get a bus, just go across Europe and just escape for the summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would be pretty cool. Somebody asked me a question like, what would you be your dream holiday? Um, being in the show really sort of made me think, actually, you know, wouldn't it be great to just hire a big old bus and get a load of your mates and your missus and their girlfriends and just jump on a bus and go and explore the world, you know? It'd be, <clears throat> for somebody to do that nowadays, you'd be like, oh, it's just another day out, you know? But yeah. back then it was huge, you know? This bus couldn't do more than 50 miles an hour, you know, if that. <laughs> uh, and it took them right around France and Italy and Switzerland. And obviously it's a, it's a movie, but, you know, for some sort of... It's the dream. Sort of, yeah, the dreams are happening, you know. I, I think uh, I think it's very parallel to what the show is trying to achieve. And it, it's escapism. It's absolute two and a half hours of escapism. And it's, it's just, just joyous. Fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. When, you know, when I'm on stage and I'm I perform with the cast and that, you know, they're such a young, talented bunch. And, they, you know, they, they they bring so much energy to the stage. Um, so I have to keep up, you know, I'm 30 this, I'm 30 this month, so... <laughs> You yeah, have to keep, keep up. Oh, come on, come yeah. on, come on. You, you stormed, <laughs> what was it, um, Dancing on Ice? Do you know what I mean? Come on, you can hold your own, Ray. You can hold your own. Uh, yeah, well, it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. And, and I do forget it's work sometimes. And I'm stood on the stage giggling because it, it is a lot of fun. And, and the script and everything that's actually put together for the show. Yeah. You know, it's a real pleasure. It's a real pleasure to, to perform. Yeah, it really is. And what about the rehearsal process? How, how long did that take you? Because, I mean... <laughs> I can imagine because of your age, you're not too familiar with all the songs, but the dancing as well. I mean, and the accent. Yeah, <laughs> I did start. I started off as Phil Mitchell, and then it become more towards what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, that was a quote from one of the writers there. He said, "You know, you got the accent down now. You start off a bit of Phil Mitchell." Uh, but no, I, yeah, it took me about it was two and a half weeks rehearsals. I missed ten days of rehearsals because I was. Still on the dance on a nice tour, so I, I had 
to come in and catch up really quickly um, and learn most of the show and the accent and everything else. I had to cover it quite a lot within the first couple of weeks, so it was difficult. You know, I've never really done the accent before. I've never really sort of, um, obviously, I like, you know, know the music. <laughs> I know the music well, but not well enough to sort of perform and sing, which which I had to really sort of get my head together with the with the MD and 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 work alongside the cast. You know, they were very supportive with me at the beginning because you know, it's, um, it's ten days there, so that you know, the whole show was practically locked down. Um, so yeah, I had a lot to do, but. You know, I did it. I love a challenge. So. You, you pulled it <laughs> off. You certainly pulled it off. I mean, it's not often these days. I mean, audiences have changed over the years. And not often these days you get standing ovations. And you certainly don't get everyone up singing and dancing in the aisles anymore. And last night was just banging. It was just like a great night out at the theatre. It was how it should be. Yeah, yeah. It turns into a bit of a concert at the end. It's a bit of a, you know, the Cliff Richards sort yeah. of songbook at the end. All the songs that aren't in the show, all the songs that are in the show, all the songs that are uh, supposed to be in the show, all, you know, things that have been cut and measured to make the show the right time and, and everything else, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, so uh, at the end, they, they, they post out all, like, the songbook of, like, In the Country, yeah. uh, Live It Doll, you know, Do You Want to Dance, songs that were in the original film, which I thought was was clever really putting those in because again you know it's what people want to hear of course so, it's, uh, it's audience pleasing and well they they were certainly pleased last night Ray mm. really had a great time so how long are you in Cardiff yeah. for? so we're here till Saturday yeah um, and then I got to go back home on Saturday evening um, so yeah it's great I mean the audience again last night was great so looking forward to the rest of the week Oh, got the show today, two tomorrow, one Friday, two Saturday. And then collapse. Get your tickets booked to come see us. Yes, <laughs> yeah, then we, we <laughs> give it five stars with Radio Cardiff. We give it five stars with oh, Cardiff amazing. Times. We can't tell you how good this show is. It's just feel good. The sun may have gone from Cardiff, but get down to the, the bay because it's shining in that theatre, I can tell you now. It's, it's a really, really good show. Are you going to get oh, out and about in Cardiff? Uh, I've got some press to do today and uh, bits and bobs and television and stuff, but I think um, on Friday when we get a bit of a break during the day, I'll be out and about, yeah, for sure. Good stuff. Well, I hope you have a great time <laughs> while you're here. I wish you all the success with the rest of summer holiday and come back to Cardiff Thank soon, you. Ray. Thank you, mate. That's amazing. Cheers. You take care. All the best now. Ray Quinn, everyone. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Bye.